hello everyone welcome back to our channel yes my people we really do appreciate you thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel you guys are simply the best i will say god bless you my people we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again my lovely people yes and we're back again with the latest and most authentic happenings in the country the one we've got today is coming from um, Edo State and it's coming from the incumbent governor, the governor of um, Edo State, Governor Godwin Obaseki. We know the Edo State House of Assembly saga has been ongoing and even most recently the court has granted uh, mandamus for uh, um, the, the 14 lawmakers elect to be investigated and a criminal charge has been placed before them and all of that. And we know that um, even those four lot, uh, 14 lawmakers it's been alleged that uh, Obaseki deliberately um, um, did not swear them in and all of that. But Obaseki has got his own side of the story. Before now, he has stated that um, the lawmakers did not make themselves available to be sworn in. Right now, Obaseki is alleging again that it was Oshomole who actually uh, made the, uh, the lawmakers, that's the 14 of them, jobless. We'll get all of the details um, in a moment. But before we do, guys, please... Um, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do give us a thumbs up, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button, it really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again, my beautiful people. Yes, we'll go straight into the news and grab all of the details. How Oshomole made 14 assembly members elect jobless, Obaseki alleges. The candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, for the September 19, 2020 governorship election in Edo State, Governor Godwin Obaseki has revealed how his predecessor, Comrade Adam Soshomole, allegedly deceived 12 State House of Assembly members elect not to present themselves for the inauguration of the 7th Assembly, along with two others whose seat had been declared vacant, thereby denying the representation of their constituents. The governor who disclosed this at a dollar ward in Ovia Northeast local government area of the state at a rally said that the affected members elect have betrayed the confidence reposed in them by their constituents after the house was proclaimed on June 17, 2019. The affected members elect who were elected on the platform of the All Progressive Congress APC in 2019 are Vincent Uwadiai. Oya North East 2, Ohai Bedumeis, Oya North East 1, Washington Osifo, Ohan Wode, Victor Edoro, Ensan Central, Kinsley Ogbabi, Esako East, and Michael Oya Ezomo, Oya West. Others are Sunday Igedo, Oya Southwest, Chris Akegbe, Oredo West, Crosby Eribo, Ego. Aliyu Oshomale Esako West 2, Oshoma Ahmed Esako Central, and Ganiyu Aoudu Esako West 1, alongside two lawmakers, Mr. Uyi Ehi Sohi and Mr. Eric Okaka, representing Oredo East and Owe East constituency, for failing to meet the mandatory 180 sitting days as enshrined in the Constitution. Obaseki's comment comes barely three weeks after the splinter group elected Mr. Victor Sabo Edoro as Speaker of the Assembly, lawyer to Adam Soshomole, following a failed attempt to break into the legislative chamber at Anthony Anahoro Complex in Benin City, which is undergoing renovation. The governor noted with regret that the godfather is deceptive. He deceived the 14 lawmakers elect and today they do not have jobs. They know that they cannot win the election. They are relying on violence. We will not allow them. Recall that in December 2019, the Speaker of the Seventh Assembly, Mr. Frank Okie, had invoked Section 109, Subsection 1F of the 1999 Constitution as amended and declared the 14 lawmakers elect seats vacant for failing to meet the mandatory 180 sitting days as enshrined in the Constitution. Okie, while declaring the seats vacant, said that the 12 members elect defiantly refused to come forward to do necessary documentation as part of the con conditions for their inauguration as members of the Assembly. 
So yes, my people, I think this is um, Obaseki's word against uh, um, the, the 14 um, lawmakers elect because it's been stated here that um, Oshomale actually deceived these um, lawmakers and it's Oshomale that have at the end of the day made them jobless. Oshomale deceived them not to present themselves um, and to do the needful. It's quite surprising and then one would think that what is the motive behind them that and then um, it was stated that one of the reasons um they were they, their, their seat was declared um, um vacant and it was actually the the speaker frank okia that declared their seat vacant the one of the reason was that um, they did not meet the mandatory 118 180 sitting days that is enshrined um, in the constitution and even as such they did not bring themselves forward to um uh, do all the necessary that Adam Soshomale told them to stay away, to stay back. So right now, guys, who do we believe? We know um, um, uh, the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Asewaju Bola Tinubu, he stated that um, Obaseki actually committed an impeachable um, offense by not um, swearing in the lawmakers at the necessary time and all of that. But right now, see what Obaseki is stating. And if we look at the story, Obaseki's story has um, been the same um, so far. He has stated that um, it was the lawmakers that did not present themselves for the swearing in. Also, what he has just revealed again just today, he has stated that it was even, it was the, the, the reason these lawmakers did not present themselves. And let's not forget that all these lawmakers, they were um, under the All Progressive Congress at the initial stage. They were sworn under um, the All Progressive Congress, but obviously, um, Obasek is no longer with the All Progressive Congress. Maybe that is why all of this drama and all of these things going up because these people are still loyal to um, um, Oshomole. Obasek is stating right now that it was actually Oshomole's um, plot. Oshomole made all of these assembly members um, um, elect jobless by not uh, by not allowing them for some reasons. But these people are adults. I'm wondering why um, Oshomole would just tell them don't present yourself for inauguration or don't present yourself to do the needful and they actually stayed back and at the end of the day see what we're getting factional assembly and let's not let's recall also that um, the court has granted an order um, to investigate these guys for um, criminal offense for sitting outside the complex is actually an offense to hold a sitting outside the assembly uh, uh, complex Anyways, guys, and um, we'll see how all of this plays out. If um, Oshomala is going to respond to this, because um, we know it's been allegations and counter allegations uh, um, for a while now, since the election is not long to go. So, my people, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. Thank you once again. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, do give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.